Spread his blessings, everyone. Um, you know, I was just sitting up here. I woke up this morning and I wanted to watch some YouTube videos. And I ran into a video uh, that Saunders X had, uh, had done regarding gay marriage. She was bitching and whining because Prop Proposition 8 was overturned. Um, oh, my God. This guy... Let me just... I wrote down some things here that he said. I mean, it was a short video, but it was just full and packed of utter shit, should I say. Crap. So let me... Uh, and, and plus, I wanted to do this video with my camera that I showed you on my last video because I'm going to be experimenting as far as um, certain things and sizes and compression and all that stuff. So anyway, it was kind of a test, but it's also a bitch video. Okay, first thing he says, you know, we voted against the homosexual marriage. And then some homosexual judge overturns it, uh, overturns what we, what we voted for, saying that it's unconstitutional. And that's wrong because they don't have a constitutional right to redefine marriage. <laughs> you got to be fucking kidding me, Saunders. Really? Seriously? Honestly? Really? <laughs> Okay, first of all, many people who voted for Proposition 8 were not really truly aware of what Proposition 8 was all about. You do not know how many people that I've run into that had no idea if a yes vote on Proposition 8 would make gay marriage legal or illegal, okay? And um, as with most propositions, they do that. They try to confuse you. And it worked, unfortunately. But, you know, even if all of California or most of California don't agree with homosexual marriage, it was overturned by the courts because it should have never been put to a vote. Every civil rights issue was never put to a vote. It was given in the courts. The right for women to vote were never put up for a vote. The right for blacks to vote was never put up for a vote. The right for people of different races and ethnic heritages to marry was never put up for a vote and would never be accepted in doing that, okay? I'm sorry, it's just not an acceptable thing to do. And, you know, if it was, if any one of civil rights issues that were passed in the courts were ever put up for a vote, I'm wondering just when slavery would have been abolished. Just when or if women or blacks could vote. When or if people of different races and heritages could marry. I know you're probably going to say, well, you know, gay is not the new black and yada, yada, yada. And I can do a whole fucking five part video series on that. But that's not the, what this video is about. And so I'm not going to. But you people keep on saying that we can choose who to love. Well, if that's the case, then in the case of interracial marriage, they can choose who to love as well. And yet still, their rights were not put up for a vote ever. Now, as far as changing the definition of marriage, we don't have a constitutional right to do that. Fuck, we've done it. What do you think marriage was all about? He says that marriage was one man and one woman from the beginning of time, such as Adam and Eve. Where in the Bible does it say that Adam and Eve were married? Sure, they were put together, but were they married? No. You said that, not the Bible. Second of all, have you ever heard of an arranged marriage? It was around well before one man and one woman, as was polygamy. And I'm sorry, but it also states in your Bible about polygamy. It talks about polygamy and does not say that it's a bad thing. You know, you say, oh, it's just the cult of the Mormons that tried to bring this about. 
uh, I'm sorry, but uh, the cult of the Mormons is a Christian religion. It fits under the umbrella of Christianity. Now, whether they're your dirty little secret or not that you don't want people to know about, they still fit under the umbrella of Christianity. And I'm sorry if you have a problem with that. Um, arranged marriages. They had nothing to do with love. Nothing. Ever. What were they for? What were they all about? Prostitution. And slavery. Basically, you sold your daughter for the sake of your own family status. And it was a little bit more higher up if you were part of royalty. Um, basically, it was something to encourage peace or interaction between one country and another. Usually a princess married a prince from a different country. Um, so no, it has not always been about one man and one woman. I'm sorry, just one of many things that you need to be owned on. Okay, all major religions say that gay marriage is between one man and one woman. Um, major world religions or just major religions in the U.S., Saunders, seriously. Uh, the world does not revolve ama around America. Never has, never will. The world does not revolve around Christianity either. Uh, there are religions, yeah, all the major religions. Are you talking about the Judeo-Christian religions? So you're going to agree with Judaism and you're going to agree with Islam as long as it supports what you're trying to get across. Other than that, fuck them. They're not the one true religion and they're going to go to hell. Good attitude, Saunders. Good. <laughs> um, do you know that we need these laws? to tell us about marriage. Otherwise, what's to stop a, a father from marrying a daughter? A son from marrying his sister? Hmm. Nothing. Because it happened in the Bible. You gotta remember, Saunders, you know, you keep on reading these books and you keep on doing all this shit. And yet, um, no, you refuse to read all these books. I'm sorry, you're uneducated. Uh, unless it's the Bible. Well, if that's the case, the least you could do is understand your Bible truly. If it's going to be the one and only book that you read or take, take at face value, then the least you can do is know it just a little bit better. Your, your Bible is chock full of blood and violence, hypocrisy, rape, um, warmongering, violence, you know, it would make a hell of a of an action movie. I may make it myself. Let's see what else here. Ah, oh, gays can get married in the eyes of man, but they'll never be married in the eyes of the one and only true God. Again, crock of shit. If that was the case, Saunders. Uppity faggots like me would not be yelling and screaming constantly. No, they would not. Because that's what we're fighting for, is the rights to marry in the eyes of man. And that's not happening. I'm sorry. Much like my statement of the world does not revolve around America, the United States and certainly the world does not revolve around California. Although it's very hard not to understand that. I can understand that. Um, a Jew can get married in the temple. A Muslim can get married in the mosque. A Christian can get married in his church. A pagan can be hand fasted. Basically any religion can go to a religious person or whatever, whatever they consider religious hierarchy and get married in a holy building of their belief. And as long as they have a marriage certificate, they are legally recognized as married in the United States or married in the eyes of man, should I say. 
um, in my religion, amongst other religions, Mar gay, gay marriage is not encouraged, but it's certainly not looked down upon either. It is simply considered the exact same, no better or no worse than heterosexual marriage. So it is perfectly fine for me to get married in my belief, in my religion. Now, any heterosexual couple can get hand-fasted in the pagan face. And as long as they have a marriage certificate, it will be legally recognized and therefore recognized in the eyes of man as well. But I, even though I can get legal, uh, hand fasted, it is not recognized by the eyes of man. I'm not in California. I'm not in Massachusetts. I'm not in Vermont. I am in Arizona. And if we could get it legally recognized in the eyes of man that I would not be here and I would not be fighting as hard as I am but I am so again what you say is bullshit same thing with atheists and agnostics they don't want to get married in your church in the eyes of your God because they think both are bullshit but they do get married and they choose to get married and they want to get married in the eyes of man and the heterosexuals are but the homosexuals are not Jesus Christ Saunders if you're only gonna f read one book in your lifetime the least you can do is read it just a little bit better blessed be y'all